Today we are in Tel Aviv, the capital of Israel. We had a smashing event with over 4,500 people participating at a very short notice. Israel is one nation which has been busy transforming desert into fertile agricultural fields. Unfortunately, when the rest of the world is degrading fertile soils into deserts, there are many reasons why Israel has managed this. We need to understand this is a land where over 50% of the land is desert. Only 17.5% of the land is naturally arable. But this is a nation which has invested 4.3% of its GDP on research and development. Cooperation between agricultural industry, farmers, technological research and government has led to a phenomena where they have developed many aspects of agriculture into a very high precision function and have been a guidance to the world at the same time has earned Israel much revenue for its own development. Ninety-five percent of the food requirement of the Israeli people is produced in this land which is harsh by its natural tendency but tamed and transformed by these determined people into very fertile agricultural yields. Israel probably has the highest number of agricultural breakthroughs in terms of technology. Precision agriculture is a part of Israeli culture. Technology developments for efficient farming are the hallmark of Israeli agricultural system. And these technologies are now reaching the rest of the world in terms of protecting the crop in terms of protecting the harvest and also, above all, the now famously and heavily used system of saving water in irrigation, which we today call as drip irrigation, originated from Israel. And today it's all over the world. Agricultural production has increased sixteen times, three times more than its own population. This is an example that world needs to emulate and above all, the most important aspect that we need to emulate from Israel is food should grow where people are, not somewhere else. It is not about looking for nations where there is vast tracts of land and less population and do the same destructive agricultural process and when that land is depleted, we go to another land. This method of producing food for the world's population must go. Food must grow where people are. Israel has set up a phenomenal example, especially noting that it has only 17.5 percent of the land naturally arable. By any means, this is a phenomenal achievement. The ingenuity of Israeli agricultural technologies is something that will definitely benefit the world in a big way. It is heartening to see that when people have the necessary resolve, we can turn things around and definitely where we are right now in terms of soil degradation in the world, this can be turned around if we have the necessary resolve and focus. Save soil, let's make it happen.